When the wild animals are badly hurt, uh, game officers often do rush them to a veterinarian for immediate help. Those are wild animals. When domestic animals are badly hurt, their owners often stop at no expense to get them the care they need. If you watch 48 Hours tonight, you already know that pet emergency rooms are becoming as high-tech as human hospitals. Tonight, David Schmitke is going to show you how love, a lot of money, and technology saved the life of one incredibly fortunate stray dog. It is high technology with a heart and a helping hand for man's best friend, whatever species they may be. Kind of Portland's Dove down. Lewis Animal Hospital is open seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Here, just about any surgical technique that's available to humans is available to pets. You bond with the owners, too. I mean, they're coming in every day, visiting their pets, and you see how much they love them and how much they want you to be able to pull them through this crisis. And when you can't, you feel like somehow you've let them down, too. It was February of 96 when we first met this handsome stray at Dub Lewis. His pelvis had been crushed by a car. With no owner, he was going to be euthanized. Then Dale Laird came to the rescue. I just, I refused to let the story be kind of predictable. I just said it's not going to happen. By late February, Laird had shelled out thousands of dollars for surgery for the dog he named Rio. So this is Rio then, and this Rio. is Rio now. <laughs> you know, that lens up. It took money, patience, and love. But a year and $3,000 later, Dale Laird has a 74-pound lap dog. I mean, this guy came back in five months, and that's what was amazing about it, because uh, the, all the vets were saying, this is remarkable. We have never seen an animal turn around this fast. But animal ER is expensive. You can spend thousands and still lose your animal pal. I think the payoff is just a really sense of a uh, good feeling about the fact that uh, we've got a really bond, a strong bond between us, and the guy is just um, a loyal, loyal, you know, animal. He really is. How do you explain spending over $3,000 for a dog? Well, answering that question is about the same as answering this. How much does love cost? Well, let me know when you get the answer. In Lake Oswego, David Schmidtke, New Center 6. That's so great. Because humans often have health insurance and pets do not, although it's available, medical care for animals can be a lot more expensive than medical care for people. You can buy pet health insurance, but that said it is extremely expensive. Can you believe the transformation mm. of that beautiful dog? Well, to Dale, I guess Rio is like a kid, like a, really? like a son. And historic agreement to report tonight, a treaty made in America.